hello everyone my today uh, video recording is related to the reverse turn light mode operation uh, configuration on uh, serial converter and i'm using moxa um, serial converter moxa.com you can find the details on the website related to the product serial device servers it under the general device servers i will tell you what product i'm using I'm using uh, this 5100 series device okay and uh, you can find the details on the data sheet as you can see this 5100 series device supports uh, so many types of operation mode the one that I'm going to configure in my video is the reverse telnet operation mode okay so for that if you need some utility software you can come to the same product page under the resources you will find all the applications like drivers you need may you need for virtual com port mapping you can you have can use this n port administrator and the utilities for the configuration is uh, this device search utility or n port search utility okay and uh, this is a terminal emulator for the testing and verification purpose you can download it from the website for free so i have already installed dsu on my computer and uh, i will search the for the device you can see the device is discovered okay i will just click on the stop and uh, i'm using the same ip configuration on my network my lan card i will show you on my network adapter as you can see i am on the same subnet 127 and uh, to apply the configuration to the device uh, first you have to unlock as you can see the device is unlock if is it lock you can just right click and choose the unlock option or either you can select the device and click on the unlock option so I will go there I will go to the web login so you can just go to console uh, you have to right click on the application discovered click on the console and it will redirect you to the web login in my case uh, the application that i am using is uh, i have one n port which is connected to the console port of the switch and in this my my socket application method is my host computer is running one socket application program which will try to connect to the switch okay so in reverse telnet mode make sure that you are using some kind of socket application which will try actively to connect to the remote side then this reverse telnet method will work it's up to you it's up to your requirement but in reverse telnet the socket application will try to connect with remote side this is the best definition okay so i will take you to the gui login uh, if you want to change the ip address you can change the ip address but i want to keep it as default and uh, uh, port one uh, as you can see in my drawing I have one console switch which is the uh, same brand as a Moxa and uh, it is uh, having the baud rate of 115200 and you can verify the parameters 81 none parity is none and you can choose the parameter of the serial interface according to your end application but in my case the baud rate is 115200 and operation mode you have to come to port 1 because it's have only single port so from under the port 1 you have to choose the reverse telnet mode method and uh, if you have any some garbage value or any uh, issue you can just play with this uh, map uh, CR and LF okay but I'm going to use the default ones so reverse telnet mode is set rest of the thing is default and I will just click on the submit and restart the device will take little bit of time and it will restart uh, in a few seconds you can just click on the home button it will yeah the device is rebooted and uh, as you can see the device is up now the port 1 method is set to reverse telnet and serial parameter is the same that I have chosen if you come to monitor under the line you can see the reverse telnet is waiting to listen and here is the async for TX and RX connectivity so what I will do, uh, as you can see in my port, the port now method is uh, 4001. So what I will do, I will use a command prompt utility, cmd, 
uh, which is more easy for me uh, you can just uh, click type tel and et tell net and this uh, the ip address of the n port 192.168.127.254 as i mentioned in my ppt as you can see the ip address is of the of the n port i will just uh, modify it here dot 254 in my case the ip address is 127.254 and tcp port number is 4001 as you can see it's 4001 you can just change it to your requirement and uh, i will space 4001 and hit enter as you can see uh, as you can see here uh, I can perform telnet okay using the end port IP address which you can see here this is the end port IP address you can see in the browser and I'm using the port number so I will just uh, type admin and I will type the device password which is connected to my uh, is connected to my serial converter okay as you can see I can log in hmm. using the reverse telnet method okay guys and if I show you the line as you can see the connection is active from my PC my PC is using 127.70 IP address and if I take you to the async as you can see the TX and RX count is changed so means my communication is healthy everything is perfectly working fine okay guys thank you for watching my video please kindly like and subscribe if you have any question please get back to me thank you